Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Gregory Martin, aka the Super Producer, and we're back with another review. Um, but before we get into the video, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. It keeps you notified whenever I post a new video. Uh, with that being said, let's just get right into today's content. So today we are doing a review on the Netflix limited series Tiger King. Uh, murder mayhem and madness and yes just as the title suggests this is a doozy of a documentary or, or limited limited series um i i really don't even know where to start with this review i've spent the last what three four hours uh watching this documentary it is an absolute train wreck of a, of a documentary um I don't want to get into the entire series and, and kind of go episode by episode uh, with what happened. I, I would say it's a tragedy in, in a way. Like uh, it's it's a tragic story. It's a tragic story of when egos get the best of you. You know, I, I feel like it. You know, some of these things could have been avoided or should have been avoided with the right thinking. It, it's kind of it's kind of sad what happened to the uh, one of the main subjects. I mean, let me stop. Let me stop dancing around it, around it, okay? So basically, this this doc, this limited series is about this, uh, <laughs> I, mean, I don't even know where to start to describe this guy. He is a, uh, uh, so basically this this Tiger King is this, this redneck, uh, gay, uh, over the top, delusional guy from Oklahoma. You know, he ended up amassing a total of about I think at his height, 230 tigers. And he comes across this woman who, whose whole sole purpose is to really shut his operation down. She assumes and she's heard that he's abusing these, uh, these, these animals, these, these tigers um, and lions that he has. And the reason why I say it's a tragedy, you know, all these people seem like they had good intentions starting out. And their intentions warped into something totally different um you know obviously there's there's a big uh there's a big move in this country and in the world uh there's organizations like like PETA about the you know cruelty against animals uh, especially these tigers who are endangered species i feel like each each of these people these individuals they had very noble beginnings. Um, um, at the beginning, I believe it was all about animal survival. Uh, I think each one of them had stories that, that made them gravitate towards these these uh, big cats, these uh, lions and tigers. I mean, I can't you can't fault these guys. Like I think I would have if I endure some of the things that they that they uh, encounter there's I, I don't say I, I me personally but I could see where someone would would latch on to this this uh, this this thing and it'd be the driving force for you moving forward uh, but I just think that these humble beginnings got derailed once their ego got involved and secondly and most importantly money got involved like the Tiger King eat and you see it right in the at the beginning of the documentary that he's this, this young he's very he's very passionate about the care of these animals uh you know he he wants to you know he wants to kind of step in and help these animals thrive you know by by breeding them and things of this nature and it, and that kind of just takes a left turn once he starts getting a little of notoriety behind his uh behind his his zoo that he that he opens for me that's a whole nother story how how these private zoos are even able to operate you know like i had no idea that there were so many private zoos at the end of the documentary there is saying uh, there are between five to ten thousand uh, tigers in the United States, and there's only four thousand in the wild. I mean, this this story it, it was such a sad story. I would never think about owning a incredibly dangerous animal in my house or on my land. I, I could I could never uh, picture that. So for this guy to to amass that amount of animals, I can see where it would be an issue. Of, of care he can't possibly care for all these animals in a way that is humane to the animals his staff didn't seem like it was a huge staff of people that he had working for him and then uh what else um the woman you know who was against him owning these animals 
you know, I, I really didn't. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know what the big issue is about cub petting. Um, I, I think it's something I will have to look up um, now that I've watched this documentary. But honestly, I don't really care because it seemed very harmless to me. I don't know what the big what the big deal is, and they didn't do a really good job uh, of saying that in the, in the documentary. I feel like they they should have been some some mention or some correlation between the amount of animals that these that these people have uh, that are in the United States and their and the correlation between what's going on in uh, Africa and why these uh, why these animals are endangered or why these animals um, who are being bred here in the United States aren't being you know if, if there's supposed to be this big conservation effort why aren't they being shipped back to Africa or whatever uh, I mean that's that's maybe what I wanted to hear, but I didn't I didn't get that. Uh, really, what I what I got out of this was everybody had had an agenda, and these animals were the conduit for them to achieve their agenda. Even from the animal rights side, the the, the, the girl who who was advocating for this guy to be locked up or arrested or his his zoo to be be closed down, I didn't feel like she was the right conduit for that message uh, I felt that she had something to gain she had her own uh, sanctuary where she was making money off of off of these animals um, she was hired she was hiring staff well she was getting volunteers who were, who were being paid nothing I mean he the guy who was paying his staff what a hundred dollars a week hundred fifty dollars a week I mean and so and he was he's raking the profit she's raking the profit the animals are getting um, you know getting you know substandard to to you know satisfactory satisfactory care I didn't really get her mission in all of this I think it, it felt very vin, very vin, vindictive or she had some vendetta against them personally because there's other operators in the in the country and especially in that region that she was operating that were were had these farms as well or these these uh these operations and it didn't really seem like they she was going off after them as intently as they were for for him granted he kind of took it to an extreme to make all these you know very hateful videos and and, and things of that nature to kind of in, antagonize her i felt like the conclusion of this this series was very tragic it started out being a you know a like a what the fuck moment like i can't believe there's people like this and then it turned to you know showing how amoral some of these these people were that were uh, the subjects um even the woman her husband mysteriously disappeared you know she's she's kind of screwed over the family she took the money and is acting as if she has you know she did nothing what i just find hard to believe just on his face, you know, you know that, that obviously they didn't find any evidence, or she would have been, you know, in jail or whatever. On his face, it just seemed fishy. And then she's dealing with, you know, wild animals. Um, so like, it's, 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 you know, very plausible that, you know, you know, she uh, she fed her husband to uh, a tiger, as is alleged in the, uh, in the series. I don't know, man. Like, I it, it's. I, I, I finished watching watching this, this this series and I just felt bad for everybody. The guy ended up going to prison for 20 years because he just didn't know when to to stop. Um, you know he just you know he just he just kept he kept pushing pushing the envelope and pushing the envelope and where he just kind of crossed the line too far. I felt it was kind of disgusting that you know she celebrate this guy going to prison for 20 years i get you know her wanting to protect the animals whatever but i i, I just disagree with you know the methods um and i don't know it just it was it, i just I, I felt very dis displeased i mean i don't know i i i, I I'm, I'm i'm i was happy i was sad to kind of see him go to jail for for everything even though i think he should have i think he, he crossed the line um, I think there should have been um, there's there's I think there should have been repercussions against other people and maybe those things are still ongoing who, who knows and then I, I think you know I think karma's going to be a bitch because I, I I think I think the the woman who um, brought these these uh, these allegations and this whole mess about I, I think she isn't she has some uh, culpability and everything. 
Um, I, I just think there should be, I think there's a lot more justice that needs it, that should have been served. And, you know, I just think he kind of, you know, took the lion's share of it, no pun intended, um, of the, uh, of the blame. Um, but other than that, I think, I think it was a, a very solid, uh, entertaining, uh, series. Um, I, I don't think, I don't think there's going to be a, a follow-up. Maybe, you know, maybe depending on what happens uh, within like the next year or so, they might do like a little, um, uh, mini follow-up, kind of like how they did with, um, uh, making of the murder, making of a murder with uh, the Stephen Avery uh, story, maybe like another uh, limited series, kind of say what happened, you know, post, you know, post this documentary. But it's definitely worth a watch. Um, you know, if you have, uh, if you have time, of course you have time. You know, you're you're in quarantine <laughs> or self isolation like me, so you definitely have time. Um, but it's it's definitely a, a, a solid uh, documentary. Uh, series to watch yeah so uh, i'm gonna love to hear your thoughts about it uh if you guys have watched it uh, feel free to leave a comment down below other than that please don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and i look forward to seeing you guys on the next one peace